Hey everybody, uh, I'm Pastor Rick Smith uh, with today's Harvest Church and I'm also the Regional Director for the Mid-Atlantic um, area uh, with AFCM and uh, I, I was asked to do a Friday motivational uh, teaching for you, uh, you know, just to encourage you and, and you know, as I've been studying a little bit and really trying to figure out how, you know, how to, you know, you always want to be sensitive to the Spirit of God because a lot of people who will tune into this is facing a lot of different things. We just had an election and we probably got a lot of people upset at the election. We got a lot of people who are glad at the election. And uh, you know, and I've had to, I've had to really um, take my mind and put it in place. And I want to talk to you today about minding your head. You know, when Pam was, um, when Pam was in Ireland, there was a, a sign that she walked under, and the way they tell you to watch your head there is they tell you to mind your head. And it was it was really funny because she sent me a picture of it, and and it just it just stated plainly, mind your head. And today I want to tell you that as a Christian you have to learn how to mind your head <laughs> because your head is gonna make you or your head is gonna break you. Your mind is gonna be where the battlefield takes place and, and where the battle is fought in your own life. And of course, you know, I'm gonna share a portion of scripture today that's probably common to a lot of people. They've read it a lot of times, but I wanna, I wanna look at Isaiah 26 verses three and four. I'm gonna read it in three different translations of the Bible. And uh, I think it's important for us to understand that during these times, we can't get caught up in everything that's going on in the world because the Bible says clearly, we are not of this world. We're in the world, but we're not of this world. So I wanna remind you to keep your head in the right place. I wanna remind you right now to get your head in the Word of God, renew your mind according to the Word of God, and let that word be your anchor point. Let that word be your focus. Let that word do what it's supposed to do in your life. Isaiah 26 verses three and four says this, you will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on you. Now, is that not a word for the day? We are promised according to the word of God that we will have perfect peace, that we can operate in perfect peace. And a lot of the body of Christ guys, even last night at church and, I, and you know, and talking to people, I can tell you right now, we got a lot of the body of Christ right now that has no peace at all. And it's because we got caught up in our heads, we got caught up in, in looking and, and hoping in something that we thought was just gonna play out the way we thought it was. A lot of prophets were prophesying all kinds of different things. And now credibility is in play, you know, who do we trust, who do we not trust? Can I focus your attention right now and tell you that now is the time that you need to trust God. It's not trust in a man. We should have never put our trust in one person to be everything that we could be. We have to trust Jehovah God Almighty. Can I get a big amen there? And it says, you will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on you. Mind your head, will you say it with me? You gotta mind your head, keep your head in the right place. And it says this, and, and whose mind is stayed on you because he trusts in you. You got to learn how to trust God in every situation, guys. I'm telling you, I've been in, in places, and, and I know some of you have been in places where there was just no way in any way, shape, or form that you were going to be able to come out of this thing in the natural, and especially come out victorious in the natural. But if you can keep your head in the right place and you can keep your mind stayed on God, you got to understand this. If you can keep your head in the right place and keep your mind renewed according to the word of God, God says, because you trust in me, you, you have victory in your life. Um, you know, it's impossible for me to have perfect peace outside of doing it through God's word because I've had to shut my head down and tell my own self to shut up. You, you know, and sometimes that's what's necessary. I need to, I need to have a conversation with myself and a motivational, uh, motivational time with myself and tell myself, self, you gotta operate according to the word of God. You're a man of God, now act like a man of God. If you're a woman, you're a woman of God, you need to act like a, like a woman of God. Listen to this in the Passion Translation. It says, perfect, absolute peace surround those whose imaginations, listen to this guys, whose imaginations are consumed with you. 
you got to mind your head. Will you say it with me one more time? You know, you got to mind your head. Don't let your head just go anywhere it wants to go. You're in charge. You are a spirit person first. You have a mind, will, and emotions which you can control. A lot of people don't operate this way today, but I'm telling you, you can control your mind, your will, and your emotions. And also, you live in this body, and if you can get your spirit and you can get your head following what God says, your body is how you'll touch and you'll impact this world and do great things for God. So it says, who his imaginations are consumed with you, they confidently trust in you. Yes, trust in the Lord Yahweh forever and ever. For Yah, the Lord God, is the rock, is your rock of ages. You got to be founded. You got to be sitting on the rock of all ages. And this is what the Word of God tells us. Now listen to this in the Amplified Bible. And I, and I want to take it a, a little bit further and, and make some comments here because I want you to see this. It says, um, and, and the Amplified, this is a classic one. This is not the newer one. This is the classic one. You will guard him and keep him in perfect and constant peace. Whose mind, everybody say it with me, mind your head. If ever there was a time when we need the body of Christ to mind their head and be about God's business, it's now because, let, let me tell you, I have never seen the righteous forsaken, and I've never seen the righteous children begging bread. You know the Word of God. You know what the Word of God says. So stop walking around with your head down. Let God be the lifter of your head and start operating like the powerful person of God that God has anointed you to be. Listen, th this is what it says. You will keep him in, in constant peace whose mind is, is both whose mind, listen, is both its inclination and its character is stayed on you. This is in the Amplified, and, and you can't let the struggles in life get you down and change you into what the struggles are trying to tell you to be. You know, we, you know, I look back at finances at the church because it's part of my responsibility. And when I, you know, I, it's one of those things where I don't know if you're like I am this year, but I wasn't excited about getting the end of a year report because I didn't know where it was going to turn out with everything going on with COVID and everything happening. And we ended up stronger at the end of the year in, in 2020 than we did at the end of the year in 2019. Now, isn't that just like God, guys? When you disconnect from the struggles and you reconnect to what God says, God promises that he will take care of you. He will never leave you. He will never forsake you. And I, I've been telling people this lately, I mean, even at this point, I don't care if every bit of land that I'm on around me falls into the ocean, God will make it so he either creates a boat for me or gives me just, just I can stand on the air because that's the kind of God that we serve. But this is what it says, both your inclinations and your character it, you got to have it stayed on God. Listen, because he commits himself to you, leans on you. This is what we're telling God. We hope confidently in you. I commit myself to God. I, I need to commit myself to God every day. I lean on God. Say it with me, guys. I lean on God. This is not about me. This is not about my, my own will being done. This is about God's will. And I need to know what his will is according to his word and rest in that word. And when I rest in, I'm going to get excited here. When I rest in that word, i got confidence that no man can shake. I have confidence that no man can do away with. I have confidence in my God and his ability to do exceedingly abundantly above everything that I could ask, think. One translation even says, even imagine. Can you imagine what could take place if the church would just take its place right Right now and be what God says it's supposed to be. I'm getting worked up here. I should have put a fan on. Anyway, you got you got to you you got to commit yourself to God. You got to lean on God. You got to hope confidently in God. God's word never fails. Listen. So trust in the Lord. Say it with me, guys. I trust in the Lord. I'm not going to get caught up in everything that's going on right now. I trust in God and I trust in His ability. And His ability has always seen me through. Why would it change now? God's ability flowing through me changes everything for me. I've walked into situations where it's been declared over me that I would never come out victorious and you'll never walk in victory in this situation. And I've always come out victorious and walked in victory. Now, if God says he'll do it, he'll do it. 
Why are you fainting and why are you wondering about what's going on in your life? Don't mean to be mean to you. I'm not trying to do that, but I'm trying to encourage you. So trust in the Lord. Commit yourself to Him. Come on, guys. Commit yourself to Him. You're responsible for building one kingdom, and that's the kingdom of God. Build the kingdom of God. Listen to what it says. Commit yourself to Him. Lean on Him. Hope. Oh, good night. How about if you just take all of your anxieties, all everything going on in your life right now, and you just you just prop over on God and say, God, I know, you know, I may look at this thing in the natural, and it may not look like in the natural that anything can come out of it good, but I know you work all things out for my good. I pray it out in the Holy Spirit. I pray it out in the power of the Holy Ghost, and you bring it to pass. You bring it up to the next level. You're able to work it out for good. I'm, I'm supposed to go about 10 minutes, and I don't know whether I can stop, so I'm going to do my best. So trust in the Lord. Commit yourself to Him. Lean on Him. Listen to this. Hope confidently in Him forever. For the Lord God is an everlasting rock, the rock of all ages. He never, never will let you down. And I want to encourage you, mind your head. If you don't remember anything else that I've said today, mind your head. Renew your mind in the Word of God and get your mind and your spirit and your body, the three parts of you, flowing in perfect unity with the Word of God. And I tell you, Nothing will be impossible and you will come out of every situation on top because God promises that he will bring you out the head and not the tail. Amen. God bless you. Listen, I don't know what you're, what you're struggling with right now, but I hope this word is an encouragement for you. Can I pray for you? And then, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll just, we'll, I'll go away. <laughs> All right, so Father, thank you for your word. Thank you, God, that your word is true. Thank you, God, that you honor your word, that you're not nervous about what man does or how man reacts. God, you give us the ability to walk this thing out in the fullness of your word of God. So, God, we're going to mind our head. We're going to concentrate on you, and your word declares, and, and you say it too, that you will keep us in perfect peace. So I release peace to everyone who listens to this video. I speak to the anxiety in everybody's life, and I call it to come to an end. And I thank you, God, for perfect peace being released in them. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you, and you are victorious because Jesus made you that way. Have a great day.